Hey fans, this is Gar Foreman, General Manager of the Chicago Bulls. I've had a chance to read through all of your questions and appreciate all the interest in what's going on during this offseason. I'm looking forward to this opportunity to address some of the issues that will be coming up over the next several months. We feel Carlos Boozer had a, a very good season for us last year. I know fans were disappointed by game six, but if you look at what Carlos did from a productivity standpoint the entire season, um, he was one of a handful of guys that can give you those type of numbers as far as scoring and rebounding. And I think he's committed to continue to improve. And we think he'll be a real factor for us next year. Uh, we're gonna need his ability to score the ball and to pass the ball and, and create for himself and others on the floor. Derek Rose is doing terrific. And um, he's, he's been diligent in his rehab. Uh, he's making tremendous progress up to this point. The surgery obviously was a huge success. Um, the, the, the biggest thing that's been encouraging about Derek is it's been his mentality towards the rehab and um, he, he's working each and every day, um, putting a lot of effort into it and we're optimistic that if he continues to make the type of progress that he has, um, that we'll see Derek back on the floor at some point next season. We were encouraged with, with the minutes Jimmy got this year and when he had opportunities we thought he performed well especially defensively. Uh, Jimmy is living in the gym right now, the weight room in the gym. Uh, we think he's got potential to, to be a player that can help us but that's on Jimmy and the work Jimmy does this year he's got a, a, an opportunity in front of him uh, to really contribute to this team next year and into the future and a lot of that will depend on the work that Jimmy puts in this summer. O'Meara is a restricted free agent this summer, which means we've got an opportunity to talk to him about a new contract on July 1st, um, and obviously other teams will have the opportunity to talk to him also. We will be able to match any offer that he would receive on the open marketplace, but it's our goal to have conversations with him the very first day, and, and we see him as a key piece uh, to our team moving forward. Um, we think he's got, has shown the potential that he's got to continue to improve. Um, and it, it's our goal that Omir Ostek will be a Chicago Bull um, in the foreseeable future. We're excited about Nicola, and um, he had another terrific year this past year for Real Madrid in Spain. Uh, the second year in a row, he, he won their Rising Star Award for the most valuable young player uh, that's playing in the EuroLeague. Nicola's a very skilled player, um, can play inside, can play outside, uh, can knock down the three-point shot. He's a hard-nosed player that uh, we think will really fit into our system. He'll remain under contract with Real Madrid for the next couple years, but uh, it's certainly our goal and our expectation uh, that Nicola will be in a Chicago Bulls uniform somewhere down the line. The pick we obtained from Charlotte um, two years ago for Tyrus Thomas uh, is protected for the next several years and then it eventually becomes totally unprotected. Um, next year will be protected top 12. The following year will be protected top 10. Uh, the third year it'll be protected top eight. And then if it hasn't, uh, if we haven't received the pick up to that point, the fourth year that pick will be totally unprotected. We see that pick as a real chip for us moving forward. And with the addition of Nicola at some point in the Charlotte pick, it's gonna give us another couple quality players um, to continue to build this team. We have spent a great deal of time, um, not only the last month, but really the last couple years preparing for this draft. Uh, we're at 29 and, and we feel good about where we are. We, we feel it's a pretty deep draft and that we'll be able to get a player that fits us and we'll be able to be, we'll be able to help us in, in the future. Um, as always, you know, we're not looking at specific needs. We'll draft who we feel is the best player available, um, but we think we're gonna have some interesting choices come the end of the month.
You know, I know we were all disappointed uh, when we when the injuries uh, affected our team late in the season with Derek going down and then Joakim hurting his ankle. And I think in the short term, we've obviously hit a bump in the road. Long term, we're still extremely optimistic that um, we talk about a five to seven year window where we've continued to have a very young roster. We feel we've got some real assets moving forward with the Charlotte pick and Nicola. We're gonna have some flexibility financially as we continue to add to this team. And we've got an opportunity to, to have a lot of success and to ultimately reach our goal of being a championship team. Thanks again, fans, for all your questions. I hope I've been able to provide some clarity uh, as far as what we're thinking here in the next couple months. Appreciate your support as always, and we'll look forward to talking to you soon.